Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Wednesday market webcast. Okay, we are still hovering around this 5800 area. You can see on the daily chart here, the bands are starting to tighten up. If this progresses, um, you're going to get a little bit of compression, expansion, action on that daily chart. The Bollinger bandwidth is nothing, you know, to get, you know, it's 3.09. It's tighter than what's typical. I mean, you can call, say, like right here, fairly typical, 4.7. When they get wider, you know, it's 10.13. So these are tightening up. Um, it's time to take notice. I mean, we've been in this box um, for, you know, certainly, uh, certainly 10 sessions. And as it sheds these lower prices, it's, you know, it's just a 20-day simple moving average. So as it sh sheds these lower prices, these bands are going to get tighter and tighter. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, it's like Sesame Street. 11, 12. Sorry, that'll be in your head all day. Um, that's 14 sessions right there, um, not including this candle. So, in you know, if, if this continues, then by Tuesday to Wednesday of next week, you're going to have some very compressed Bollinger Bands. Now, saying that, tomorrow morning at 8.30, we have CPI. You would think... Although you don't know, you would think that that would um, move the tape. You would think. We'll see. Um, whether it moves it enough to expand out of bands as they are now, meaning hitting the upper band or hitting the lower band, spilling them out, spilling them up, that remains to be seen. Stay tuned. We'll see what's up tomorrow morning at 8.30. Um, hourly chart. Inside the the the... The, the box here, it's pretty violent. Uh, you're getting a lot of whipbacks. You're getting things where um, yesterday the vast majority of the spike downs were defended. Um, and I will say this 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 tape can make you look like you know like a dummy. I traded like a donkey all day yesterday, and it didn't really it wasn't a, it wasn't a red day or anything like that. It was just a lot of commission burn. So you know. Just be careful, and I try to be super mindful about not over trading, but at the same time, you know, this tape kind of, you know, it, it kind of forces it. So if, if you're getting banged around in this tape, just understand there's a lot of people getting banged around in this tape. When you Monday morning quarterback it, you're like, oh, well, up we go. Oh, well, down we go. It's not that simple. And if you're trading in the middle of it, you know, it's not that simple. We are battling over some big inflection points. Um, and... It, as long as the market wants to continue to do that, you're going to get these four, five, six handle whipbacks in, in the E-mini that are very difficult to trade. Um, what does that mean in the bigger sense? I think everybody's waiting. I think everybody's waiting on a lot. Um, you're, you're, you're waiting on uh, the CPI number tomorrow. You're waiting on this hurricane. You know, and you know, everybody in Florida, just be safe, please. Um, we're thinking about you. Um, you're thinking about, uh, you know, the, the, tape, the tape is thinking about uh, what's going on in the Middle East. You got an election coming up. There is a lot on its mind. And so as far as putting underlying, the underlying 500 stocks to work, either long or short, adding new positions, you know, taking some off this side or the other, nobody's making any big decisions right now. And when nobody's making any big decisions right now, it looks like this. It looks like this. Um, and for those of us that choose to trade the derivative of it, this is, you know, you're going to get, you're going to get chopped up. You're going to end up with a daily chart that's just very indecisive. The ranges are wide. You can get done what you need to get done during the course of a day. But for people that like to position trade, that want it to go somewhere, nope. It'll go when it's ready. You can't force it to do anything. So be patient. Don't wear yourself out when it's like this. And then when it does want to go somewhere, your, your mental capital and your physical capital are not where they should be. Uh, volume weighted average price, 57.91. Hourly mid, call it 57.93. Um, proprietary moving average is 94. So, you know, you, you've got an overnight high in, in the 5801s. You've got an overnight low that basically is the weekly pivot down there at 57.80, 57.81. So... 
the battle between the roundy and the weekly pivot and the nine day just underneath at 57.78 has marked this week and it will continue to mark this week um, until this coin that's up in the air lands either heads or tails because that's exactly what we're in the middle of right now. It's a coin flip. Don't get torn up. All right. Have a fantastic day though. Be safe. Everybody in Florida, be safe. If they're telling you to get out, get out. Um, I know from personal experience here in New Jersey with Sandy, if they are telling you to get out, get out. Take care, trade them well. Talk to everybody tomorrow.